Hey guys, it's Warbots Tap in this mug. Before we get into this video unboxing and taking a look at Asmodai, uh, I want to quickly mention that uh, I'm about to enter a very tumultuous period of my life where I'm going to be taking care of some newborn twins as well as raising my toddler, my two year old, continuing to raise my toddler. It's not like I've not been around, but uh, that means that my hobby, my um, artistic pursuits, everything I've been trying to do with the eBay store and my channel, all of that is going to take another backseat. And even though I was trying to get a summer painting challenge, something going in time for the birth of the babies, it looks like my, um, my lady boss is going to be delivering a little bit sooner than expected. Uh, they say that with twins, it's uh, usually sooner and later. So even though we've got Easter coming up, there is uh, a good chance that I am going to be very quickly disappearing for a, a period of time. And um, well, also congratulations to Michael Matsi for uh, the birth of his second son a little while back. And uh, congratulations, welcome to the world, Otto. And it's a, it's a great time. It's a beautiful time to be a father, <laughs> a family person in the spring. Uh, that does mean that my creative endeavors are going to take a little bit of a hit, unfortunately. So thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for continuing to ride along with me. And I hope I can return to making consistent videos soon as my son goes a little bit older and the twins uh, also grow and bloom and blossom into the beautiful people they will be. And uh, thank you for joining me. For those of you who just now started watching more Boss TV videos and for those of you who've been with me since the beginning <laughs> uh, making blurry videos on my flip camera uh, what a time to be alive it's, there's never been a better time to paint miniatures unless your wife is about to go into labor all right here we go Asmodai happy Easter what is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Very happy to show you this Asmodai from the Dark Angels. Unboxed and built up, assembled, ready for priming and painting. I had a great fun time putting them together and we'll take you through all of it. If you'd like to pick one up for yourself, if this video is interesting you at all in this figure, then I hope you click the link below in the description. It will take you to an Amazon affiliate where you can purchase one for a nice uh, little discount if you compare it to the uh, actual store price. So check it out if you're interested and thank you for watching. Let's get on with the build. All right, players, today we're taking a look at Asmodai, the master of repentance for the Dark Angels chapter. Here you could see him as an interrogator chaplain. He's got his uh, big uh, bonking stick. He's got a sword, very cool looking cowl over his armor and uh, interesting looking sculpt from the last iteration that we've seen of him where he's more uh, charging forward, holding his uh, bonking stick up in front of him. Now he's more of a just really cool looking menacing character standing on the uh, helmet of his fallen enemy there. So we're gonna build him up and uh, take you through the build and uh, see how that goes for me. Looks like the only two options we have for him are using the hooded cowl or the more uh, menacing looking mask. All right, getting on to the instructions. Shows you how to put them together. Okay, front and back piece, then arms and weapons. I was just gonna say, wait, he's got two bunking sticks, but I guess this is a different weapon. Not too up on the Asmodai lore here. Yeah. You got variation helmet. What's cool about this is whichever one you don't choose will make a pretty interesting looking helmet for a special character like a sergeant, captain, or lieutenant in the rest of your army. You just want to paint them up too similarly. Uh, but yeah, they look, would look pretty good in green. The backpack. And the, oh, choose the variant. You can either go with smoky smokies or no smoky smokies. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of silly. Kind of silly, but interesting. Yeah, look how all that smoke comes together over here. Hmm. Interesting. 50 millimeter base. Or 
we just or just put them on. All right, let's take a look. You get one screw in the box. It's interesting; it doesn't come with that, um, you know, plastic screw holder. You just pop open the box, and the screw, and the base come out. So that's an interesting choice. Then for the screw itself, it looks like uh, they went with just the minimum amount of space that they could use to maximize the uh, the amount that of uh, workable space that they've got. They don't want to have like two half sprues. They're like, no, just get it done on one of these like quarter sprues. It's not a full sized infantry kit, but it's not a small. Like taking a look at the, I just built Master Lazarus. He came on these two half sprues. So instead of doing two half sprues, they took the same footprint, the same amount of space, and they just crammed it onto one frame. And the bits themselves look interesting. You've got that great scenic base. I don't think you can take him off of it. You're gonna have to use that scenic base uh, unless you put him, where's his foot, standing on like a rock or a piece, like you build a piece of scenery for him to be standing on. But yeah, I think, oh, even, see, even the base has his foot modeled onto it. So fortunately, if you wanted to use this base for your own purposes, like a different character or a terrain piece, you're just gonna have to cover up that foot, build an extra foot or green stuff, some foot armor for him and then have him standing on something else. Seems like more trouble than it's worth. Just make your own piece of scenery out of a piece of cork and uh, build this guy as he's supposed to be. All right, we're gonna put him together and I will see you at the end of the video to show you how that went. All right, welcome back. And here is Asmodai, all built up with the hood and the smoke. Got a little bit of extra plastic cement squeezed out. Nice and shiny all around. It was a great build, very easy. Everything seemed to fit except for the smoke. The smoke was not as intuitive because of the way they are shaped. There's no slots or specific angles to get it. You just kind of have to feel the different angles when you're putting the bottoms in where the tops join with the other uh, coils, curls of smoke. But other than that, it looks really great. I love how it all comes together and I'm uh, very pleased with that. I can't wait to start painting it. I think the only extra bit you get on the frame is the extra Asmodai helmet with the hood down. You also get the top of the backpack without the smoke. So I don't know how you would recycle that. That's pretty much a lost piece. Vice versa, if you decide to go without the smoke, then the uh, all of this extra smoky bits, like this, um, the backpack part with the smoke coming out of it and the two extra coils of smoke around there, uh, those are gonna be left in your bits box as well. But uh, I'm very much looking forward to painting it up and can't wait to do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave me a comment before you go. And uh, we will see you in the Discord. Thank you again to all of my patrons for supporting my studio. And we'll see you in the next one.